Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're about 30 minutes north of Denver. Right here on I-25, super easy to access. This morning, I have another brand new trailer to be showing you guys. It just arrived, I think last week, maybe earlier this week. This one is a 2024 Cimarron North Star. It's gonna be our four horse slant load with just our standard RTG front tack on this guy. We do have these models. I know yesterday you guys saw a closet tack. I have taken you guys through some dual tacks before and then this one's gonna be our standard tack. So kind of lots of variations on those that are really unique and just really well set up. So I'm excited to take you guys through it yet again, kind of remind you all of the cool things it has on these trailers. But just a reminder for those of you that aren't super familiar with Cimarron's, you're just kind of tuning in, checking these guys out. These are a full aluminum construction, so they're gonna be 100% aluminum. They do have um, some two, I think, in my opinion, which are really great selling features to these trailers. It's actually what sold me personally on these trailers before I knew much about them. First of all, your standard insulated roof. So standard meaning it's gonna be on any single Cimarron you see out there today. We'll check it out once we get in the stall area so you guys can see it a little bit better, but standard insulated roof, you are gonna get hail protection, dent protection up top, but what's really cool about that is what it does for you guys on the inside. It's gonna give you guys, um, keep it about 20 degrees cooler in the summer and then 20 degrees warmer in the winter for those horses back there, which to me is just great, especially on these darker colored, darker sheeted skin trailers. I personally bought a black one. So even on a hot summer day, you're gonna go step inside my black trailer and it's not as hot as something with an aluminum sheeted roof. And now I don't have to worry about it getting dented by hail nearly as much as I used to. So great selling point there. And then another really cool one, which we won't be able to see today, but I can always send you guys photos. Underneath on this floor, you're gonna have cross members every four inches. And those cross members are gonna be a V truss. So they're shaped like a V, gives you even more support with that shape but then they're every four inches. So go ahead, crawl underneath your trailers at home, crawl underneath something that's not a Cimarron, check out those floor members, you're gonna be surprised. But in my opinion, two of the greatest selling features about these trailers. But before we get to this trailer in person, we're gonna go ahead and pull up that drawing for you guys to review with me. We'll take a look at that standard front tack on this guy, it's gonna give you a three foot, eight inch short wall over there, leaving you a 17.7 in the stall area and then 13.7 with your four foot offset. So plenty of space in that stock area. Standard dimensions on this one as well, 610 wide, 71 tall, giving you a total floor length of 21 feet, three inches, and then you're gonna have that eight foot, two inch nose, which is also kind of standard. So I keep saying standard, this is kind of our base model here, but I think you'll be surprised on what our base model is and just how nice these trailers are. Giving you guys lots of versatility, not having to jump into something quite loaded up with a dual tack or anything else. This one has plenty of options to where you could upgrade it if you want to do so. So RTG front tack, that is gonna mean ready to go. It means it's loaded out with all the features you could want in this three foot, eight inch tack. So starting right here, my favorite feature of these front tacks is gonna be their newer saddle rack design. They weren't on the older trailers are kind of on the past couple of years now, but in my opinion, the best saddle rack that's out there, the best saddle rack that I've ever thrown a saddle on in a trailer and just felt 100% confident it's gonna stay where I left it. Really nice carpeting on these ones, really great shape to them, really sturdy. And then the wither block is what is just really great for keeping your saddle secure. It's gonna set right up into the gullet of your saddle. It's gonna keep it balanced on there and it's gonna keep it no matter what kind of traffic you get you're stepping on the gas, you're stepping on the brakes, it's gonna stay right where you put it. They also are fully adjustable. So you can actually loosen your bolts in here, slide these up and down anywhere on this swing out saddle post. So for me, especially kind of what I've run into with my barrel saddles, having that really tall horn up top, I gotta to make sure I clear my door frame. So I'm able to slide this one down and allow it to do that. Or I'll put, I have an older rope saddle I could throw up there as well with the shorter horn, so I could maybe put that one up there as well, but I can also change it, which is really great. And then I obviously have longer legs, so I have longer stirrups. So having this one down here, what I did on mine was run it up just a little bit, just to prevent so much slack in those stirrups once I get them in there on that floor. So really nice for me personally to just be able to change those around for the versatility of my saddles and where I can actually put them on this swing out post. It is on a gas truck. So it takes a little bit of push to get it in. Once it gets going in, it's gonna push it in the rest of the way for you and then it's gonna keep it there. 
So once you are driving down the road, it's not gonna swing around back and forth. It takes a little bit of umph to get it out too, but then once you get it pulled out, it's gonna help you out the rest of the way. Your saddle pads go over here, also on a swing out gas shock. So you can go ahead and slide, swing this out here, and then you have your super easy access to get all your pads on here, right off your tie rings. They're just gonna slide on here really well when they face out at you like this. And then the gas shock, once you get them pushed back in, they're gonna stay right there. So that as well is not gonna come swinging off the door. Once you get driving down the road, you're gonna have a sliding bus window right here on your door at your saddle blankets, which I think is great just for ventilation, dry off those pads, get that smell just straight out the window right there. And then the brush tray, I love the size of their brush trays. I say it all the time, but I just, they're so deep and they're so wide. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Fly spray, mane and tail detangler. I have all my brushes in there. I've got rubber bands for their mane and tail. Got rubber band for my stirrups as well. Hoof picks, anything you're gonna need. I have liniment spray in there as well. Just anything that you don't want just rolling around on your floor, it's great to have it right there. Again, easy access. Off those tie rings, stepping into this front tack. This one is that standard 610 wide. So you do have a full width running board, but instead of having to step way up here to get into your tack room, we've actually added a full down step. We do this on all of our inventory trailers. It is not standard. It doesn't come on the trailers. We add this because we do order all of our inventory. We pick and choose what we want to get. We add this on everything. Just makes your life so much easier. So we're gonna swing this out so we can get in here a little bit easier. Kind of take a look at the inside of this tack room. We'll start up in our nose, fully carpeted. You are gonna have two windows up there as well. So if you did need to spend a night in this trailer, if you're using it as a dressing room, you just want some airflow through there, you do have those sliding bus windows there. Fully carpeted, gooseneck and drop wall. And then on our drop wall, we're gonna have a boot box. It's a little bit more than half width. These are dual purpose, so step to get up into your nose as well as a bench. You could sit on, change your shoes, change your clothes, but then also storage. So tons of great storage space in there. What I use mine for right now is it's just that time of year where you're still changing from blankets to fly sheets, um, coolers, now that it's starting to get a little bit frostier out. So I have all of my extra horse gear in there. I just shove all my blankets and stuff in here, all my fly sheets. It just, it fits really well, still plenty of room, and then it's just out of sight. Over on this side, we have our shelf. It does have that two inch lip, so it is gonna set down in there, and then it does have a rubber mat in there. So when you stick stuff up in here, it's not gonna slide around. That works really well right now for my hats. I put my cowboy hats up in here, and then below you have your clothes bar. So I have this same setup on my trailer. If you haven't caught on to that, I have this same one and I personally really like it. I have all my rodeo shirts kind of hung up over here on this side. And then what I, what I actually did was I grabbed some of those bridle hooks, you know, that you can set, you get two hooks that set over a post rail. And then off of that, you get like four to six bridle hooks. So I've actually used that right here where I set those two right here. And then off of that, you get like six bridle hooks. So I've actually done that right here because I just have way too many bridles and halters and tie downs and all kinds of stuff. So now I can hang even more stuff over here that doesn't have a clothes hanger on it. So really versatile setup. And then of course over here, I do have all these bridle hooks as well, but they're already full. So I've given myself even more, which I think is just really great. And then I still have tons of room for all my change of clothes over there. Your bridle hooks over here, mine are fully carpeted behind as well. That is a a big selling point in my opinion and what I do if I'm if I were building a trailer for a customer I always recommend maybe doing a full carpeted partition wall if you do plan to use this for storage down low as well you just know that on these white sheets if you do hang stuff up against them or set stuff up against them they could end up with those black rub marks which is why we do it especially behind our bridle hooks we don't want our bits and conchos and snaps to be kind of swaying back and forth and causing those black streaks. And then it also just keeps it a little bit quieter too for whatever horse is in that first stall. Back behind me, our water tank. Again, not standard feature, but we are throwing these in all of our trailers because people always end up wanting to add them for good reason. So you fill it up at the top and then you have one spigot below. This kind 
is on a stand, so inside your stand is where your hose is. Just pull that out, stick it on that spigot, and then it is a very long hose. So again, this is how my attack room looks. This thing actually has really good pressure coming out of it. I have been super impressed. So I've used it to fill buckets. My horse is a camel. He drinks a ton of water and it will fill up faster than he can drink it, which to me is very impressive. And your hose is really long. So it reaches all the way out my tack room. So I'm filling buckets while he's drinking it. I could be washing off his bit if I need to do that. Washing off sport boots if we just made a mud run. Just super convenient just to have that water on board. So again, that's your RTG front tack room. That thing isn't loaded. Gosh, I don't know what is. What a really well set up trailer. It does have an Optibrite light inside as well. So you'll have a light through your threshold there as well as lights throughout the exterior. But that's kind of what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and work our way back this way. So like I mentioned, you're gonna have your 16 inch awning LED light above your tie rings as well. So you will have that visibility inside and outside of your trailer. On our hip side, we did sliding bus windows on this trailer. That is something that could be changed if you're ordering one or looking ahead at our inventory builds. Could be changed to, the, to those stock sides with plexiglass, or it could be changed to drop down windows. The sliding bus windows are the most popular. You're gonna have four tie rings on this side. Being a four horse slant load, you do get four of them. So you can choose to tie all of them on this side or kind of separate them if you need to do that. And then down below, you're gonna have your two Dexter rubber torsion axles with those upgraded aluminum black spoke wheels. These are 16 inch wheel and you do have two 6,000 pound axles. Personally, I know whenever I do a charcoal trailer, I always say that I love the black spoke with it. I think I really do like the black spoke with just about any color though. I think it just gives that little bit of pop, a little bit of color there. Try to get my shadow out of the way so you guys can really see it. I just think they look really sharp. You do two obviously brand new lion's head tires on this guy. So you're going to get one year, no questions asked replacement warranty with two years of roadside assistance. And then your green valve stem cover. I think I messed this up last week, but it is your nitrogen filled tires guys, not filled with air. What that's doing for you, especially right now, I woke up this morning, I was feeding horses and it was, God, I think barely 40 degrees outside. I had frost on my roof. So you would imagine that in that sort of temperature, you're air tires are gonna drop pretty low. Now that it's heating up, we're on black pavement. If we go run this down the highway or your air filled tires, they're gonna start heating up and filling back up with air. There's just a lot of fluctuation, which is not so great for your tires. So this is gonna maintain your PSI, reduce or eliminate that fluctuation. So that way your air stays, your pressure stays and maintains that. And it's just what that's doing for you is reducing your risk of a blowout. So great, again, peace of mind, but then you have those warranties with it as well. So we'll go ahead and step around to our load space. The first thing you're gonna notice back here is our butt strap. Since we don't have a collapsible rear tack on this one, we don't have that post to set a butt bar onto. So we do a butt strap on these. What that's gonna do for you here, especially with my gelding, gosh, he thinks he needs to come out before it's time. So whenever you're stepping in to go get him, he's already putting it in reverse and coming out of there. He has broke several trailer ties. I think this is probably what I need to do on mine is get him one of these. So that way when he does think about coming out, he can't. This is just gonna prevent him, keep him safe, keep him inside, keep me safe. Just a really great option to have on your trailer. Back here, our doors, our 60-40 doors. So that one's gonna be our 40%. This is our 60%. We did do sliding bus window on this one to help with that airflow inside. But then with your 40% door, which is really nice for one, when you're loading, if you don't always have to open that 40% door, if you've got good horses, you do have 60% of your trailer right here to load them on, which is more than enough room. But also if you wanted to app add a collapsible rear tack. I've had some customers ask me about that lately. So what we do is we're just gonna order that folding rear tack wall from Cimarron. They'll throw it on one of our inventory trailers when it comes up this way. And then our shop will go ahead and install that in the ceiling and in the floor, those posts for you to have that. So that way when you do, if, if you do choose to add your collapsible rear tack, you won't have a window on where that tack is. In case you do use it for a tack, 
but also you don't have to add that removable saddle post to that upgrade. You can just leave it as that almost acts as like a broom closet. So you could use it for buckets, mug tubs, pitchforks, brooms, hay bales, shavings, all kinds of extra storage stuff. So stepping inside of this trailer, one thing that we did upgrade on this inside here already is gonna be the padded dividers. So these do not come standard. We've went ahead and upgraded those, which to me, I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal to me. Mine doesn't have them. I may end up upgrading and adding these to my trailer. So I hauled my horse home from the vet last week. He was still pretty sleepy. So he got to lean in on these aluminum dividers. He is sorrel, so I wasn't super concerned, but again, he was tired. So he leaned on these the whole way home. He came home with black streaks all down the side of his belly. So maybe something I will consider adding to mine, especially great too if not only you have a sleepy horse, but maybe if you're in traffic and you're kind of bouncing back and forth off these dividers, let's give them a little bit extra cushion. Up front, we have our stud divider. I don't think I'd own a trailer without this, especially when it has the escape door off of it. This gives you great storage space, especially because you don't have, you don't have mangers, you don't have a hay rack, you don't have the rear tack, and you just have a standard size front tack, which is exactly what my trailer is but I have only got two horses right now. So I have filled this all up through my escape door. I filled this with all my extra stuff. So I actually buy those, uh, they're not Rubbermaid, but those big bins from Home Depot, you know, with the yellow lids and the red lids. And I've got all my stuff stored in those and then just stacked right here. And then it stays because of my stud wall. I also have my pitchfork in here and stuff because I don't have that rear tack. But I, I mean, I only have it barely half filled at this point and I got a lot of stuff. So it is a huge space for that if you want to use it for storage. Also, if you had a horse that just didn't get along with others, it's a nasty mare or just even a gelding that didn't like another horse or if it was a stud, you do have that wall, a kick wall to protect your other horses inside this trailer. And again, being a slant load horse trailer, you do have kick mats all the way around. Off to bright lights in here as well. You can have roof vents, one over each stall. And then that inside the roof that I was talking about, guys. It is white, it is a honeycomb, fiberglass type material. It looks just like this up top as well. That is what's keeping it cooler in here during the summer, warmer in the winter, and then you're not gonna get any dents up to almost a softball size hail. Your roof vents, I got distracted, guys. I'm doing all the things here. There's so many features, I don't wanna miss anything but they're two way, so they work two directions. So up front, I've got my first two that I push open this way, so it pulls your air into your trailer, and then I've got my last two pushed open this way. It's gonna draw that air out. So you guys can see you just get a really good airflow with that drop down windows, sliding bus windows, sliding bus window on that rear door, and your inside the roof just gives you guys, gives your horses lots of comfortability inside this trailer, if that's a word. And then D-rings in your stalls, meant for your corner feeder here. I can show you guys in this last stall too as well, but just great. Since you don't have mangers, you can go ahead and clip those in. You can get those at any ranch supply store, any feed store. They're all kind of a, they're standard. They're standard size. So you can pick those up anywhere. Just grab you a corner feeder. I know Weaver makes them, Professionals Choice makes them. Just clip them in there. That way you can remove them. If you have a horse that's gonna sit there and chew on them or try and paw them and put his foot in it or something, you can also hang a, a hay net if you'd rather do that. With each stall, you do get two tie rings, so lots of versatility to be tying um, a trailer tie and then a hay net. So we'll go ahead and work our way around to our head side. So on this side, you're gonna have your drop down windows. These are really big, oversized windows. I really love how big the Cimarron windows are. You're getting lots of airflow in there. And then you do have your jail bars here, so you can travel like this. This window did pop down into a socket, so it's gonna hold your window down as you drive down the road. You know, if you don't have that into a socket, then it has the possibility of catching air, could shatter windows, could scare horses. If you have that socket, pop it in there, now it's stuck. You can drop your jail bars down as well. So if you're stopping to check on them, feed them, water them, 
You can drop down your drill bars, gives you really easy access. You can either grab onto your frame, grab onto your tiring. You have that full width running board to step up on. You could fill their corner feeders, give them some water. And then when you go to travel again, put your drill bars back up, keep their heads in there, just keep them safe. And then if it's just not quite nice enough out for that, you do have your sliding bus window on here as well. You just get a little bit of, little bit of ventilation that way. On our hinges, on every hinge on this trailer, each end is gonna have a grease cert, so you can grease all of your hinges throughout this trailer. It's really nice to just be able to maintain it yourself, keep it lasting a lot longer, and not have to worry about those seizing up on you. Everything is just really operator, user-friendly, easy to take care of. And then working your way down, you'll have your escape door right here. It does have your chest bar on it. So if you did have a horse in there, um, you still have your D-ring, so you can still clip your corner feeder in here, but then also it's just safety. So if they did want to think about stepping out, they can't because of this. But then again, if you wanted to use it for storage, drop your chest bar and then you have easy access to get in there. Again, I have my pitchfork in there right now. So if I've got them tied up somewhere and then he makes a mess, I can clean up after him really, really easily. I've got my muck tub right there too. So I just throw it back in there. This door does have two different latches on them. So you're gonna have your regular door latch. So it does latch. And then you also have just um, a secondary mechanism for safety purposes. You have your butterfly latch. That way, if your horse were on the inside messing with that latch, he can't get it or she can't get it to pop open when you have this as well. So safety feature, you got two latches on there. Your escape door does have a drop down window as well which is really nice to just have those consistently throughout. And then I'll guys, I wanna show you guys our door holdbacks on these Simrons. They're actually on like a, it's like a ball, it's a swivel holdback, which is really cool so that it can allow a little bit of play on your door holdback. That way if a little bit of wind grabs, it's not gonna pop right off. But then also when you wanna tuck them out of the way, you're just gonna find that groove and set them down in there. It's really nice, you don't have to worry about them sticking out and then potentially poking a horse because you guys know with horses, they can get themselves into anything. Finishing up here at the front of our Cimarron, we do upgrade all of our trailers. Again, it's not standard, but it is standard to us. Our drop wall, we've increased to 53 inches. So it's gonna eat into your nose space here about three inches. Standard is gonna be 50 inches. When we were in there, I think it's pretty easy to see. There's still tons of room in there. It really didn't look like it made much of a difference to me. What it's doing for you out here though, makes a huge difference. So if you run one of those newer trucks down the road, you're gonna notice those bed rails are getting taller and taller. Your trucks are sitting higher and higher. On our older trailers with our 50 inch drop wall, you're gonna have to adjust, set down that coupler a little bit, get your nose to pop up so it keeps your rails off of your bed rails, your nose off of your bed rails you're gonna end up with a trail that's kind of riding a little bit nosed up down the highway. That's gonna cause some uneven wear on your axles. It's gonna increase your risk of a blowout. It's just not good. Um, we do align axles here. So if you did have to do that for a couple trips, come in, get it aligned, get it driving back down straight, and then get you something with a 53 inch drop wall, which is gonna be any of our Simrons here. That is gonna give you the ability to drive it level down the road without touching those bed rails. So you're still gonna get six to eight inch clearance on those big trucks and it's gonna pull level for you. Underneath, standard manual crank jack. We have already mounted our matching spare tire up higher. So if you wanted to upgrade this to that electric jack that takes up a bigger footprint, you can do so. We've already taken out some of that labor work there. Saves you guys a little bit of money there. Matching spare tire. So if you did have a blowout or you'd had something happen, you need to change it, you're gonna match. So when you get to where you're going, it still looks the same. You can kind of run it down the road. What's also great, not just for aesthetics, but you can also work this into your rotation plan. So that way you actually get some use out of that spare tire versus just letting it sit here and then you never need it because you don't have a blowout. But then when you get to that five year mark where you need to change your tires out, you're not just changing out a brand new tire. So I would work this into my rotation plan whenever I rotate those tires, get some use out of this, make it worth your while. 
over here i want you guys to step in and kind of check out where we put our seven pin because my ocd really likes this i think it's great that it's got a home right here so it goes and it plugs right right into there so when you're done with it it tucks it out of the elements points it down so no water is going to run up inside your cord it's going to keep that from giving you guys any troubles down the road versus just leaving it here where something could chew on it or it could end up getting curled around and pointed up and get some water in it this is just really safe to protect your equipment and put it over there i'm doing this from a bad angle where it belongs so we'll kind of wrap it up up front at our sticker here Again, this was a 2024 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Gooseneck. You guys can use that stock number right there, 5N231115. Lots of ones in that number. If you're watching online, go to our website, transwest.com. Scroll to the bottom. In your right-hand corner, it says Inventory Search. Type in that number. It will take you to the web page for all the photos. This video that we made this morning will be on there as well for your reference, or you can send me an email, give me a call, shoot me a text with that number. I can send you guys that drawing again. If you wanted to review that, I can send you the spec sheet. We can talk about some upgrades if you wanted to do so. This one is still available. Um, so give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email if you like this one. You like something else, different color, different tack setup, just let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. My contact info will show up on your screen. Again, that's Michaela Geis. My cell phone, 303-918-6367 call or text whatever you guys prefer and then email Michaela period guys at transwest.com if that is what you prefer so get in touch with me thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your Thursday and enjoy your weekend